Today we're gonna to be swapping out this old existing powder room fan with a new Panasonic WhisperFit DC. Um, to get started, the first thing we'll do is make sure the power is off and then we'll remove the cover. We'll remove the old housing. Now we gotta get the old motor out first in order to access where the wiring hub is, which is right in here. So we'll remove that. Pull the old fan out. And you stencil out, cut out. Now that we have it all marked. Go ahead and cut the drywall. The next step is to install our mounting bracket. Now this is a flexi fast hinge mounting bracket. Um, it's really great for remodeling because you can bend it um, to make it easier to get it into your opening. Um, so, and it's adjustable so that if your joists are further apart or closer together. So let me go ahead and get that up and in. So now our bracket is in place. Now we're on to the next step in our installation. And what's great about the Panasonic WhisperFit DC is they have several removable parts. So it's much easier for you to install by yourself. A lot of older model fans were very heavy and didn't have these removable parts that made it a little bit easier because you'd have to have someone hold this while you're trying to do that. Step one is we're gonna be able to get our wiring in to the wiring harness. They give you options as to where you can do your knockout, either on the top or in the back. Um, considering that our wire is coming from that way, we'll use the top one. So now we'll slide our wire up into the connector. And now we'll do our electrical connections nuts right here so make sure you twist them really good make sure you got a nice tight connection with your wires again I can't stress how much easier it is now that these parts are removable Panasonic did a great job with that another feature that's great about the whisper fit is Panasonic sends out their own reducer seeing a lot of old houses they go from they use three inch vent pipes as opposed to four inch, which is now the standard. So you'll be able to put the reducer on and connect to existing old ductwork. Um, in this situation, we have a four inch duct, so we won't need the reducer. Or I can just slide it up out of my way. All right, so now we have our flex duct in place. It's ready to go. Now we'll, our piece that we already wired earlier. I'm gonna make sure you smooth that tape so no air's getting out. One full wrap. We've got our duct. We've got our electrical. Pretty much set up for our next step, which is installing the fan. As you see, we've got this little plastic guy right here, which is gonna snap in to our piece where we did our wiring and our ductwork. Here's our fan body and motor. Um, as you can see, it's, it's very low profile. It'll fit into a two by six joist depth. We have uh, two by eight in this old house, but uh, this is really great for remodeling in an old house. About to install the fan motor and body. Um, as you can see, they have these plastic guides on the end here um, that will slide up into the track into our already done ductwork and electrical. And there we go, now we're locked in. Because of the way it clicks in here, um, you can unwrap your screws, grab your screw gun, 
it's held in place. Now earlier we put up our flexi fast bracket and go right into that. Now just a couple little things left to do. We have our wire here for our motor that we got to plug into our power and then there is one last screw for grounding purposes. Here. There are variable speeds for the amount of CFMs that the fan will outtake. It adjusts from 50, which is the lowest setting, 80, which is the medium setting, and 110, which is the top speed. We're gonna just set it at 80 for now. Do you hear it? I don't hear it. It's whispering. All right, so we are ready to install the grill on our WhisperFit DC. Super easy, it's just a spring-loaded clips. You pop them in, do one side, and you do the other, pop it up, tape measure, let's make sure we're nice and square, nice and square, and so that is how you install a Panasonic WhisperFit DC fan.